Robson back with the final proof I'm going to do in uh, this series, right? Sorry, this is theorem nine. Wait, theorem nine. <laughs> so let me change that um, in the video. I may have to record this again, but uh, we want to prove that in Young's geometry, uh, the entire geometry has exactly 12 lines. And we're going to start with an arbitrary point which we can get because of theorem one, which says there are at least four points in Young's geometry. We're going to let it be arbitrary. We're going to construct the four unique lines that are on this point P, and that's by Young's theorem four, which says there's that's exact, that there's exactly four unique lines on P. And we're going to do this for the other eight. So we've created four lines on nine different points right so four times nine we have 36 right and the interesting thing though is that axiom two says that every line has three points so let's look at it from the perspective of this line over here right so this line that i've highlighted here in red was first created when we did this point P, and it was created again when we did this point, and it was created a third time when we constructed the four points on, excuse me, the four lines on this point. So of these 36 lines, they've all been constructed three times each. Well, 36 divided by three is 12. Now these are exact, so this is exactly 12 lines in Young's geometry. Why is it exact? Well, because there are exactly four lines on P. We know that from theorem four. And we do this nine times for each point in Young's geometry, and there are exactly nine, um, which is theorem seven, I believe. And and so then then we're done, right? It's just a combinatorics argument. So once you've proven that there are exactly four lines on each point and that there are exactly nine points in the geometry, the fact that there are exactly 12 lines is just a mathematical or combinatorics argument. And this will be um, all that I show for, um, for Young's geometry. Be looking forward to putting up some neutral geometry proofs in the next section.